All right, so we're going to get into how to draw rabbits. Well, if you're like me, you're just going to want to just jump right in and just start drawing. Don't worry about anything. Just think about what a rabbit looks like and just start drawing. One of the main one of the main reasons why I'm trying to sit there and do like simple just kind of sketching. This is pretty much my sketchbook. So I'm just going to be drawing a bunch of a bunch of rabbits from different angles. I pull them off of photos, my phone, you name it. Just anything and everything I can just to make it just to make it work. I mean, I got one that's the top one, three quarter view, side view. And yeah, that's all I'm doing. Just sketching out the simple shapes. When you get going and you always have someone that comes along that wants to mess up everything you're doing and they got to put their two cents in see I got an onlooker yep got to decide nope yep that's okay maybe my boss just came over to freaking play with my pencil well, yeah, I know. That's you. I'm just getting right into it. And I just want you to just draw at this point. Just try and focus on what you remember a rabbit looking like or look at a photo. You know, try not to go off the page. Like, it's pretty easy to do. But yeah, just focus on sketching out what you think a rabbit looks like. You know, you know it's got two ears, it's got a smaller head, a bigger body, it's got two bigger legs in the back, it's got two smaller ones in the front, and yeah, just start sketching it, because once I get all these sketched out, I'm going to show you the basics. This is the most critical part. I'm going to use blue to show the head, and red to show the body. These are those basic, simple shapes that make up a rabbit. So when I just start sketching, I'm thinking about doing this all the time. Those are the body parts that are farther away. The green ones are closer to me. And you can see how, you know, the back ear was blue and the other back ear on the rabbit on the left is blue and you can see how the body crosses over the head and then I go through and I just kind of define the shapes a little bit more with a little bit of shadowing and shading but this right here is what's gonna make and break every single drawing you do always start with these shapes now that I've sketched them out and have all of the rabbits there and I've gone through and I've overlaid and I can see my shapes more clearly the next time I draw a rabbit I'm gonna draw a bigger body which is the red part a smaller head which is gonna be the blue part and it's gonna help me make drawing rabbits the easiest it can be up with those shapes every single time every one of these rabbits has those shapes in it and if you want to make them cuter you know you could use you can stylize the shapes a little bit more I mean I could go back through here with pens and right now I'm using some cross hatching which makes it it's just fun for me I like cross hatching just adding in a little bit of shadows and just defining just defining the light a little bit more I mean one of them kinda looks like a Pokemon character and the other one yeah I was just trying to do a simple rabbit but those shapes that I did with the colored pencils the red the green and the blue every time you're drawing you need to focus on those shapes because they're in every single one of these so don't do all this detail until you get those little shapes down 
Because even with just those shapes, people know it's a rabbit. And that's the most important part. And you will be able to draw rabbits within like 30 seconds just using those shapes in a few lines. And then you can get into just detailing all this out any way you want. You can add, you can make one blue, you can make one orange, you can pull out your markers, you can, I mean, there's so many possibilities to detailing them, but try not to jump to the detail first.